Today, I will teach you step by step on how to edit Apple Spatial Video, how to insert 3D graphics, and how to encode transitional 3D video back to Apple MVHDVC for Vision Pro using the powerful DaVinci Resource Stereoscopic 3D workflow. Since not everyone can afford a $3,500 US dollar Apple Vision Pro, we will also cover how to decode and encode spatial video for Metacraft 3, YouTube VR on Steam or PSVR, and other compatible 3D platform or XR glasses. By the end of this in-depth tutorial, you will be able to create your first Apple spatial video. It is actually easier than you think. Let's get started. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here. If you have not already, check out my special video with kimchi right here. This tutorial will teach you how to do that and how to control the 3D depth based on your 3D decoding system. Lots of people report that Vision Pro has better depth than the Metacraft 3 for spatial video, but in fact, you can control that in post and get the perfect depth for your display. I personally think the 3D depth should be close to real life, not more or not less. In theory, you can film 3D spatial video on any cameras, iPhone 15 Pro, the Kendall Eagle, Canon US VR system, Red V Raptor with dual fisheye lens, and the list goes on. So you will get different quality of depth depend on the lenses and the sensor size you use. Having the knowledge to fix it in post is crucial for delivering on Vision Pro or your targeted devices. If you don't have a way to shoot 3D or spatial video, I provided my spatial video shot on the iPhone 15 Pro Max in native MVHGVC, free for download, link in the description down below. If you don't know how to shoot spatial video on your iPhone 15, check out this short tutorial right here. Step 1 is to convert your MVHGVC to a traditional side-by-side -side 3D video. You can use the Spatialify iOS app, which is not free anymore. If you prefer a free solution, HoloClient is great for that. Please follow this tutorial to learn how to use HoloClient to convert MVHGVC. Before we even start editing spatial video, we need an effective way to preview and select text in 3D. Luckily, now you can easily watch spatial video directly on your iPhone 15 with any USB-C AR glasses or AirPlay it on any 3D TV. Open Spatialify app and select a spatial video on your phone. Connect your external 3D display or AR headset using a USB-C. You immediately see this green label set streaming media. Tap it, you can choose full size side by size, half size side by side, like some of the old 3D TV, and even anagraph. A red and blue anagraph glasses cost less than one US dollars on Amazon. So this is the cheapest way to watch 3D spatial video. I have the virtual one XR glasses here. Hold this button will turn on 3D mode. You don't need it or you can use any AR glasses. For me though, it is just a more accurate way to preview the 3D depth before I decide which text get into my timeline and which are not. Always pre-select your text to save time in editing. 3D is double amount of the work compared to 2D editing. Take notes. Next step, we need to separate the left eye and right eye. Luckily, there is a very easy way to do it using FMPEG. If you don't have FMPEG, follow this tutorial on how to install it. Within your footage folder, create a folder called left and a folder called right. Click the command and spacebar to search for terminal. Open terminal. You can absolutely do it on a PC as well using CMD, but since we are editing a spatial video for Apple Vision Pro, it's better to use an Apple ecosystem. Type CD with a spacebar and drag the folder after the spacebar, hit enter. Now copy and paste this command line exactly. There is a free text document available to download alongside with the free spatial video. All the command lines are in it. So please download it and copy the exact 
command line in. Only thing you might need to change is the MP4 to MOV here. Hollow client give you MOV file and spatial file give you MP4. Now the terminal is running. You see the files are populated in the left and right folders. It run actually really fast. We are going to use DaVinci Resource Studio to edit spatial video because it has the most powerful 3D alignment tool I saw in the industry. Soon, you see that the iPhone 15 Pro Max does not capture the perfect 3D and you will need to post a line to make the 3D look comfortable for your viewers. Open DaVinci Resolve, I am on 18.6. Step one is to set your project setting. Set your video to 1920 by 1080, which is the exact same size as your iPhone 15 Pro spatial video, one eye footage. Frame rate to 30. Now you can close project window, go to your media tab under master. Let's create a left and right folders. Drag the left eye files into the left folder and the right eye file into the right folder. Now, here is the magic of DaVinci Resolve. Right click master and select stereo 3D sync. Choose the left folder from the left eyes and right folder for the right eyes. Output folder, you can just leave it as the master. Click sync. Now, a stereo clip are created. Beautiful. If you pay attention, all this clip has the 3D icon here to indicate you are working with a 3D clip. Go to edit tab now and drag all the 3D clip into your timeline. They just look like regular 2D video, but trust me, they are 3D. The idea of DaVinci Resolve 3D editing is to make no difference to 2D editing. Your story editor will still edit like a 2D video and you will handle the 3D in the color tab. Now edit your video as usual. We are going to insert a graphic right here. I like to use motion VFX for the title template. These are some good free templates you can use. Download and use them absolutely free. Just search for free. The M Hello and M Matrix right here are a really high quality free motion graphic templates. And you actually saw some of them using in my video. In this travel based special video though, I am going to use M Trip, a DaVinci Resolve template designed for the Insta360 camera, like the one S one inch right here. If you are interested in this unique template dedicated to 360 content creator, I have a design code down below, can save you some money. I'm going to use M Trip title number two right here and modify the layout to fit my video. When you insert a 2D graphic inside a 3D video, you need to think about depth. Here, I want the title to appear closer to the viewer, but still behind the tree right here. So make sure you do not place the graphic on top of the trees. Push it up on the frame. The sky is usually a safe spot to put graphic to avoid stereo conflict. Now go to color tab and adjust stereo 3D. You can still color gray as usual, but when you are done, go to the 3D tab right here. This is only available on the paid version of DaVinci Resource Studio. Sorry, free user. The good news is DaVinci Resource Studio is still a lot cheaper than an annual subscription to Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects. Go ahead and select stereo and out, select black and white anagraph. Now you can use the cheap red and blue 3D glasses to check your 3D. Even kimchi can do it. Nope. If you zoom in on the mountains in the distance, you actually spot a vertical stereo problem. This can be an iPhone problem or a transcoder problem, but we noticed the problem in both Spatialify and Hollow Client Render. So we can assume the vertical mismatch is embedded in the MVHEVC metadata. No worry though, we can easily fix it in post. Go to stereo alignment and try both stereo alignment method until you see the distant mountain has no vertical disparity. Now go to each clip to repeat the process to calibrate the stereo and check it with your 3D anagraph glasses to ensure the stereo looks comfortable for your viewers. One more thing I want to show you, conversion distance. 
if you do not like the 3D depth of the iPhone 15, you can actually adjust it here. This is really for advanced user if you know what you are doing. For example here, I want this pole next to kimchi sit in the zero plane. Anything behind the pole will look cave into the screen or behind the screen in 3D. Everything that's in front of the pole look pop out from the screen. Since I will adjust the conversion distance right now, the 3D of kimchi now does not look so close in your face. And now the background really sink into the screen. The stereo 3D look more balanced. So the end result is more 3D. Finally, let's adjust the 2D graphic in 3D space. All inserted 2D graphic have to be adjusted in 3D. So don't forget about it if you don't want to make your audience cross eyes. We select the graphic and add positive convergency value to make the graphic pop out from the screen. If you want it to go into the screen, you can add a negative value. In this video though, we do not have much of a negative budget here. So we only stick to positive to avoid stereo conflict. Again, please check it with your cheap anagraph glasses or a VR headset other than Metacraft 3 to make sure the stereo look good and no stereo conflict problems. Okay, now we export the video. Go to the Deliver tab. At the time of recording, there's no way for DaVinci Resolve to export a full size side-by-side -side video, which is what special video requires. If you watch the half size side-by-side -side video inside Metacraft 3, it looks normal but you will notice a aliasing issue because Quad 3 is we stretch your video to full size it is bad i hope black magic see this video and fix this for the 3d community and if you are active on the black magic community do submit this as a feature request for now we are going to explore the left and right eye separately in progress and we combine them in resolve I use ProRes 422 as this is a lawless codec. You can delete the single eye ProRes after you merge them back together. Under Render Stereoscopic 3D, first select left eye and render it out. Come back, select the right eye and also render it out. Now import the renders back and ensure your timeline sequence. This time it's 3840 by 1080. Remove the duplicate audio. Oh, make sure your timeline scaling is center crop with no resizing. Set your left eye position X as minor 1920 and the right eye footage position X as positive 1920. You can now go directly to the deliver tab and this time you can render out as either H.264 or HDVC. I recommend H.265 HDVC. This 3D video file will work on Metacraft 3 or any other 2D display you have. But if you want it to play on Apple Vision Pro, you need to still convert it back to spatial video format. You can use the Holo Client web service again. The free account has three minute monthly limit on MVHDVC conversion. As you see here, I only have 14 seconds left before I need to pay. Beside that, it's pretty easy. You just need to upload your 3D files and it will split out a MVHDVC file back to you and that will play normally on Apple Vision Pro. If you found a free solution, don't forget to comment and let the community know. Future me here. So I just found a relative free solution. Open the Spatial IV app and tap create spatial video. This supports lots of input format, which for us is full side by side. Then you can airdrop the resort render here. Pick from photo library and select the side by side render. Main view is left eye view. One of the benefits of spatial video is it will backward compatible with all screens. A 2D screen like iPhone will just show the left view, but for some reason you want to show right eye instead, you can set it in the MVHGVC metadata right here. You can even set your IPD distance here. I set it to 65 millimeter as that is the most common IPD. Hit create and it will run. This is not re-encoding, so it is very fast. If you don't know the benefit of MVHGVC, it allows the video to play in 2D and 3D with smaller file size and easier for streaming. It is really the 3D should be. Not being an Apple fanboy here, I just want to credit what Apple did as people keep attacking Apple just rebranded 3D video. Well, it's not that simple. 
this move set the foundation for VR 180 and 3D 360 distribution, so we can stream AK Media more easily in the foreseeable future. Kind of a big deal. Okay, now the render is done, the output is a new spatial video, just like how you originally captured with the iPhone 15 Pro or your Apple Vision Pro built-in camera. This is how you will make commercial in spatial video as well. If you are an advertiser, take notes. Okay, this is a long tutorial. Thank you for sticking around. We will continue to update this tutorial when there is a new, easier workflow or Apple release some kind of official support on spatial video editing. So. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Together, let's master spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. I will see you next time.